Nissan's GTR is ready for its Nurburgring close-up, BMW preps smaller SUVs, and a Cadillac station wagon turns up in the rumor mill. What's up everybody, I'm Derek D and you're watching a fast lane that happens to be daily. Last month, the Nissan CEO Carlos Ghosn told the press his company's new GTR had lapped Germany's Nurburgring in a blistering 7 minutes, 29 seconds. Fans of the Corvette ZR1 wanted proof. Well, now Nissan fans say they've got Exhibit A. It's a YouTube clip showing Nissan test driver Tokio Suzuki flogging a Japanese spec GTR on street tires. The real-time simulacrum is a video of a model reportedly displayed at a Nissan event. And if the on-screen timer is correct, it proves GTR fans' beloved coupe is just one second faster than Ring Dominator's Porsche Carrera GT and Pagani Zonda F Club Sport. Not bad for a car whose sticker price is about that of a tune-up for a Pagani. That doesn't include dealer markup, of course. Remember back when BMW only sold three product lines? Well, if you do, you probably once babysat for this guy. Anyway, Automotive News reports the latest proto models from the rapidly expanding BMW line are on deck for the Paris Auto Show later this year. They're the company's new X1 SUV and a similar model to be sold under the Mini brand. The entry utility vehicles will reportedly fill a need for small, premium soft rotors to face off against the Toyota RAV4 and Hyundai Tucson. The new models will get their engines from the BMW 1 Series and Mini model range, with diesel engines expected for Europe. Automotive News says the X1 will go on sale in late 2009, and the Mini SUV will show up in mid-2010. And if you thought the Ariel Atom was just too heavy, check out this lighter Atom from German tuning shop H&R and Sven Heidfeld, brother of F1 driver Nick. The tweaked Atom gets a new chassis and suspension that's 6 pounds lighter than the series version. That's about the same as a gallon of gas. Not exactly earth shattering, but H&R says the new chassis improves performance on uneven roadways and copes better with the g-force loads of racetrack driving. And the new suspension allows the driver to adjust stiffness on the fly. No word on price, but we hear Tony Danza has ordered one for high speed crash testing. Ooh. Next up, a new caddy wagon, and what's the latest from Death Valley? That's in the internet rumor mill. After this, I <laughs> thought I was going to say it sooner. The Fast Lane Daily team on assignment. Coming soon, Derek D visits with New York Giant and car customizer Mike Jennings. Fast Lane Daily, always fresh, every day. Hey, Danza? He's like, Angela, Samantha. Oh, Roy. <laughs> Love Fast Lane Daily? Well, I know I do, as you can tell. Subscribe to us on your favorite internet video provider, whether it be YouTube, VO, iTunes, we're there, so go check it out. Is the SUV dead? Not quite, but Cadillac may be resurrecting the station wagon in the US. Shots of a new CTS wagon showed up on Jalopnik this week. The pics reportedly come from a Harris Poll opinion survey. It projects a top line 3.6 liter direct injection V6 producing 304 horsepower will join a base 3 liter 6 producing 260 horsepower. Of course, the wagon is likely still in the theoretical stages, but test pricing is between $37,500 and $42,500. And finally, Fastlane Daily's Death Valley Strike Team recently brought back shots of the latest test cars appearing on the harsh desert landscape. They may look like a Jaguar S-Type, but our hot weather reporters say it's just a test mule for the drivetrain that'll power the upcoming Jaguar XFR. Witnesses say they couldn't hear the distinctive whine of a supercharger like that in the current Jag XKR, but they say the test car sounded much more like the naturally aspirated V8 from an Aston Martin Vantage. We'll hear more from our Death Valley team. Or maybe not. Go to FastlaneDaily.com for more Death Valley spy shots. Well, that's the end of Fastlane Daily for Monday. Tune in tomorrow when I'm not here. And I'm Derek D, damn it. We have the company's new X1 SUV and a similar model to be sold under the mini brand. The entry utility vehicles reportedly fill a small need for premium stuff. You gotta move like this when you talk like this. Soft rotors to face off against the Toyota RAV4 and Hyundai Tucson. I like to say Tucson. The new models will get their engines from the BMW 1 Series and a mini model range with the diesel engines expected for Europe. Ooh, Automotive News says the X1 will go on sale in late 2009. And the mini SUV will show up in mid-2000 in Diaz. It's 2010 for me, Espanol friends. <laughs>